Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Calendly with Salesforce. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Calendly.com or log into our existing account. Once we are at Calendly.com and at our workspace, we want to go to Integrations at the top corner of our screen, click on Integrations and look for Salesforce. Salesforce is right here, so all we have to do is integrate now and you are basically get redirected to login Salesforce and you basically log in and the integration is done. But if you want to try other way around, we can use third party app to make this integration happen. For example, automate.io. Well, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And as you can see, we can go to integrations and click on integrations and slide down to the bottom left part and click on see all categories. Once we're in here, we want to start with the first app we want to integrate, which will be Calendly. Now we can pick its counterpart, which is Salesforce. Straight away, we're offered with some popular integrations, like add update an event in Salesforce, on a new event in Calendly. Uh, but if you won't be able to find the integration that we need in those uh, popular integration, we can scroll down so we can create our own integration. Just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, we want to start with Calendly. So I'm going with the first one, for example, the new event. On the opposite side, uh, on the opposite side, underneath the actions, we want to go with Salesforce. So let's go with the first one. All we have to do now is to click Try It Now button. We get redirected so we can log in or register to our account. And we are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also try and use Zapier.com, uh, which is very similar app to Automate. And let's go to the top left part of our screen and click on Create this app. Straight away, we uh, need to add the first app as a trigger that we want to integrate, which will be Calendly, trigger event, uh, canceled or create, let's go with create it, continue. Now we have to log in to our Calendly account. We hit continue. And now we can test the trigger between Calendly and Zapier itself. On the second action, as you probably thought, we want to go with the Salesforce. Also, we have to pick an event manually, continue. And the last thing is we have to log into our Salesforce account. So that's about it. And thanks for watching. See you.